What's up, everybody? It's your boy Lavelle Hewitt, your host of Do It in the Dark, a podcast on introspection and accountability. Um, so most of the people that follow the channel, you already know that although I own a business in healthcare, I also have my degree in, uh, I have a master's degree in psychology. And so I want to make sure that as potential business owners, whether it's small startups or just professional people, you truly have a, a, a in-depth understanding of certain aspects of how psychology meshes with what you're doing for a living and how the way you interact with people is very important. So I want to talk to you guys about that real quick. So. There's a few things I want to cover. First, I want to give you the definition of what psychology is, and then I want to break it down just a little bit and go into one of the schools of thought specifically and talk about how I think that is most important in the way it affects us, all right? So stick with me. I got to keep this video under five minutes. According to YouTube, the algorithm picks up things that are you know shorter in time, but I want to make sure that this is in depth with the uh, information. So. Let's get into it, man. What is psychology? So psychology is the scientific study of the mind and behavior, right? It is the study of the mind and behavior. And within that scope, there are other schools of thought, other disciplines under that umbrella. So you will have abnormal psychology, you will have child psychology, and you will have social psychology. Abnormal psychology is very simple. It talks about abnormalities of thoughts and behavior. Um, child psychology talks, it's a bunch of theories that really drill down the developmental stages, operational stages, and the um, adolescent stages of childhood, childhood development. So that's what child psychology is. And then there's social psychology. Social psychology in my opinion, it is probably the most interactive school of thought, uh, a school of psychology that most of us deal with every single day. So I want to make sure that you have a basic understanding of some of the principles related to social psychology because we're on social media. Most of us engage every day on social media, on social media, and we need to make sure that we have a great understanding of what we're dealing with, whether that's social media or social interaction in the workplace. So there are three things I want to talk about, three terms I want to talk to you about as it relates to social psychology. So the first one is the halo effect. The halo effect is anytime you are giving someone credit for something they didn't deserve. Like one, like they may have one characteristic or one trait that is impressive to you, but because you are so enamored by that one characteristic trait that you deem them to have, you give them credit for other characteristics that they have not earned yet, right? So let me give you an example. As a guy, you see a beautiful woman. She is physically attractive to you. So because she is physically attractive, you give her credit for other things, i.e. she probably can cook, i.e. she must have a great job, i.e. she must have good credit. You don't know anything about this lady, but the only thing you can surmise is because she looks good, she must be doing well in those other areas. So you give her credit for something that she has not yet earned. The next term, and that takes us into the next term, which is over-disclosure. Over-disclosure simply means when talking to someone that you don't know, you reveal too much about yourself too early. So, in a situation where a person is over-disclosing, please understand you're talking to a stranger. 
Now, if you put those two together, because of the halo effect, you see a nice looking guy or girl, you jump in their DMs, they respond, and now you are having a phone conversation. In that conversation, you tell them frame by frame what happened in your last relationship. You are now over disclosing because guess what? You're talking to a damn stranger. You don't know him. That is very, very counterproductive. And it steals the opportunity for there to be any form of true relationship building going on. So keep in mind, do not over disclose because when you are doing that, you're talking to a stranger, telling them exactly how to manipulate and deal with you from their perspective and from their advantage point. And last but not least, the bystander effect. The bystander effect simply states that when there is a social event going on and there's something that possibly is an emergency, in a room full of people, majority of those people would do absolutely nothing because they feel that somebody needs to step up and do something. So again, I'm, I'm gonna say that again. I know that sounds kind of weird, but the bystander effect is whenever there's a social event of an emergent need that happens, majority of the people around do absolutely nothing with the hope that someone will do something. So I want you all to take stock in yourselves and look at yourselves, think about it and say, am I giving people the benefit of the doubt without them having to earn it? And if that is true, then you are probably falling victim to the halo effect. Am I over disclosing too much? And I now have a repeated cycle of people taking advantage of me. If that is true, you're probably over disclosing about your situation. And then last but not least, am I, am I responsible for not speaking up, not standing firm, not taking action when I should because I thought somebody else was gonna do it. If those three things appeal to you, then I would ask that you look introspectively within yourself and make some, make some corrections so that you do better. Because at the end of the day, if you didn't know, nobody can hold that against you. But now you know, you have the information you do better when you know better, all right? And that's been my three terms for psychology, social psychology. Again, this is Lavelle Hewitt, your host of Do It In The Dark, a podcast on introspection and accountability. And keep in mind, the work begins in the dark. So turn the lights off. Peace.